From 2000 to 2002, the Second Intifada caused the deaths of over 300 Israelis from sniper attacks, ambushes, and suicide bombings. Israel called for a ceasefire for 10 days and held its fire. Yet more than 70 attacks were recorded during this time alone, culminating in a suicide bombing at a disco in Tel Aviv, when over 21 people, including 16 teenagers, were killed and more than 90 were injured. In response, Israel launched Operation Defensive Shield, a large-scale military operation in the West Bank to begin rooting out terrorists hiding among the Palestinian civilian population and stop terror attacks, an effective operation which nonetheless claimed the lives of 30 Israeli soldiers and wounded 127 more. The Intifada did not end officially until 2005, when Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas, Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak, and King Abdullah II of Jordan met in the Sharm el-Sheikh summit to formalize a ceasefire. Though an agreement was gradually reached, the Second Intifada claimed the lives of around 1,000 Israelis. In response to the rise in suicide bombings, Israel built a security barrier to protect its citizens from these attacks. During the construction of the security barrier, a multi-fence system of which 5% is a concrete wall that protects civilian homes and roads, the bombings dropped dramatically. Each year from 2002 until 2007, suicide bombings dropped by 50% until 2007, when only one attack occurred. In the future, when peace is achieved, the fence can be taken down. It is reversible. However, the fence will be a necessary barrier to protect Israeli civilians as long as Palestinian terror continues.